All right, we've got a scene here that's got some really happy people. And on the script, it looks like if we press the down arrow, it's gonna start a timer for two and a half seconds. And then once that timer's out, it's gonna go to the next scene. So let's give it a try. All right, I am pressing the down arrow. What the? Ah! Okay, so it went to the next scene. Uh, I, let me just check something out here. All right, we're just looking at the smiling face, happy purple face. On down press, play spooked a loser. Well, this is a little bit rude. Okay, so it looks like this animation ends at about one second. So you know what? No, I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm gonna fade to black before the animation can even start. All right, so back on the main scene, I'm gonna make a canvas layer and put a 2D sprite node underneath it. All right, let's just name that black box. And for the texture, I like to use a little white square. That way you can modulate it whatever color you want to. But if you're feeling extra lazy, you can always just take the icon file and make that black. So I'll show you two ways to do this. The first way is with an animation player. So just make one frame where the modulated alpha is nothing, and then make another frame where the modulated alpha is totally full. I just gotta make sure that my animation ends at one second so that we can't see that disgusting face. And then on the script, we're just gonna make sure that we set that animation to play. Let's give it a try, and yep, there's the beautiful fade into the next scene. However, we should probably add a fade in when we start the other scene. All right, so on the next scene, we're gonna add another canvas layer, add another 2D sprite, make that sprite black. Then we're gonna make a script, and in process, we're gonna get that sprite. And then we're gonna check if it's modulate.a for alpha is greater than zero. And if it is, we're gonna take that alpha and do minus equals one times delta. And it's just that easy. All right, let's hit play. We're gonna press the down arrow button and it's gonna fade to black instead of showing the disgusting face and then it'll fade in nicely and show all the smiling people and it's just wonderful and it works perfectly and what the fu- Anyway, that green man is now the bane of my existence so uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful to somebody. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.